Spring football across America. Michigan, the defending national champions, opening the day with the national championship ring ceremony. Four rings in total from the Rose Bowl, the Big Ten championship, the CFP, and winning that national title game. Jim Harbaugh returning to Ann Arbor for the celebration and making good on his promise to get a tattoo. 15-0 and in a block M. Jim Harbaugh rocking that tattoo with pride. Harbaugh and many of those players from that 2023 national championship team here showing us the hardware. You want to show off the people what you got going? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Maybe this is a national championship ring right here. Bet 15 and 0. Being able to, you know, wake up and say I'm a national champion. You know, not many people could say that. That's something that is going to be a part of us forever. No one's going to be able to take it away from us. Orgy rolling out. Alex Orgy looking for the end zone. In the spring game, not a lot of offense. Alex Orgy showing what he can do with his feet, scoring the first score of the game. And the Wolverines planning a bit of a bowling celebration with the final pin dropping down. It was a defensive back and forth battle from then on. Davis Warren connecting on a pair of touchdowns. His team Mays went on to win the game 17 to seven. As you can tell, I really didn't know what to do with myself when I was in there. <laughs> I seen Will run at me, I seen Fred run at me. So I was like, you know, let's just celebrate together. I'm mad that they won, but it's his birthday. So I'm going, we gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Happy birthday, brother. Love, 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 Great love, job out love, there, man. Love. He killed it out there, he man. Did. This is one guy that, that we're going to have to watch for. This is a quarterback battle, man. It's going to be somebody's job. We don't know who's in the fall. What do you think you show this coaching staff today? Just same guy every day, you know, consistent. Um, you know, and I think we got a great room, and Coach Campbell's an incredible coach, and Coach Moore's a great coach. So the, the guy out there is just a, a product of all the guys in the room and all the work that we put in because uh, we're a really tight group, and we just pride ourselves on being the most prepared unit in the country, and we try to do that every single day. This is a question that I don't know can be answered in the spring, but as a competitor, I'm yes, sure sir. it's something you're gunning for. Can you win this job? Is this a job you can be the number one guy starting this fall? You know, I have full confidence in my capabilities, um, but, you know, I know that I'm in a room full of great quarterbacks as well. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm just going to put my head down and go to work. Um, I'm going to be the best teammate I can be for those guys. I think our, our quarterback competition has been so healthy. It's never a situation where we're hoping a guy fails. If a guy makes a throw, we're all cheering for him. If a guy misses a throw, we're coaching him up. So it's never a situation where, you know, I'm hoping, you know, a guy gets hurt or a guy doesn't make a play so I can get my opportunity. Um, you know, obviously as a competitor, you want the job. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, you know, I just want to come here, uh, earn the respect of my teammates, and ultimately, you know, win on Saturdays. And never looking too far ahead but starting to plan for the fall. Michigan here in Ann Arbor already setting the date and the time. A noon kickoff in week two against Texas. Wolverines asking for a maze out. Trying to put the national championship in the rearview mirror will be tough for a lot of those young players, but it is the task for a team that only gets a Big Ten schedule much, much harder in the fall. In Ann Arbor, Brad Galley, 7 Action Sports.